it, the Joel Shit Show, fe featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Yes, feeling Joel Shit. That's clearly what it should be. You ever get that feeling you're forgetting something and you're kind of going about your day and you're like, hmm, there's something I'm forgetting. That's what I'm feeling right now. I have underwear on, so it's not that, but I don't know. There's something going on, but oh well. I'll figure it out at the appropriate time, I suppose. So yesterday I got to work, and every now and then I'll jump on Twitter and I'll look at the Caltrain feed, which is just a matter of going to Twitter and searching for the word Caltrain. And everyone that uses Caltrain in a tweet, well, it'll show up on that results page. And if something's going wrong in Caltrain, you can tell. Well, as it turned out, there was a delay after I got into work, so I narrowly avoided something there. And I was like, oh, well, what luck. I'm so fortunate. So, after work, pretty typical day, you know, shuttle shows up and get on the shuttle and get to the Redwood City Station and the train in front of ours goes by, doesn't stop because it's not supposed to, and it's on time, and okay, well, our train's going to be next. Our train shows up, and I get on, and we're going to do that. Yes, very good. Okay. All right. I didn't hit that guy. Could have. I didn't. And... As we pull into Palo Alto, the conductor says, we're going to stop here for a little bit. And we're all like, huh? And it's so like my cat, if I take out the camera and point it at her, she squints because she knows there's a flash and she doesn't want the flash to blind her. Similarly, when you're on Caltrain and the conductor says you're going to stop for a little while, you automatically say, oh shit, somebody died on the tracks. Well, that's what happened. The train in front of us, that didn't stop because it's not supposed to, as it pulled into Mountain View, where it is supposed to stop, hit somebody. And when someone gets hit, and it's a fatality, which usually happens when someone gets hit, I mean, it is a train after all, Everything has to stop. It's no different than when there's a fatality on the freeway and they have to close down lanes for a long time. Except because it's a train, there's not a lot of other places for the train to go. So the trains just stop. Trains are not efficient when there's only two tracks, one in each direction. At least the person wasn't spread across both tracks because then neither train could have gone because they have to do all the forensic stuff before they can let the trains pass over again because obviously once the trains start running again there's no going back kind of like for that person so the timing was good because I could go to the Stanford Faculty Club and I usually wait for about an hour and then I head back and by then whatever the delay is is usually taken care of and I'm usually sick of eating whatever the food of the day was anyway. So yesterday it was chili dogs. I'm sick of chili dogs. I like the deli plate. I like the soft taco night. Then the chili dogs. Then the Chinese chicken salad. Then the Caesar salad. So I only want bad things to happen on Wednesdays and Thursdays because those are the days of the cold cuts and the sandwich bar and taco bar. So, there you go. So I get on the shuttle to go back to the Caltrain station, and I get off the Cal I get off the Caltrain station in Palo Alto, and the train's there, sitting there. Now, I looked on Twitter, <laughs> which now is posting about 15 tweets every minute. About 13 of them retweets of things that have already been posted. I've never understood that. Why are you telling your followers about something that they would look on Twitter for anyway if they were interested. I didn't wait for someone that I follow to tell me about the delay on Caltrain, and if I weren't taking Caltrain, I wouldn't really need to know. So, it doesn't take long to read all the new tweets, but the interface is kind of slow when it has to reload that many. And then you have to scan over the ones you've already read, and then you're likely to miss a new tweet, an original tweet, and if there was a way 
that when you're doing a keyword search that you could skip retweets, that would be a good piece of development. And you could have, like, my retweets show up on my own page, and it's because people will retweet something to one of the people that I follow, so then I see it too, because their username shows up on the retweet, and that's how that works. That's okay, because it's the first time I'm seeing it. When I'm on my home page, fine. But when I'm doing a keyword search, and I'm not on my home page, I don't need to see retweets. You can put a little number next to the original tweet telling me how many times it's been retweeted, that would be fine. Sometimes people add their own comments before the retweet, and I've been missing out on those. I know. Maybe you could let those slide, because you can tell, or you could just kind of not let me see those, and that's my loss. I don't care. So anyway, the shuttle arrives in Palo Alto, and there's a train just sitting there. It had been sitting there for 10 minutes, and I get on, and it sits there for another 20 minutes, but then it went all the way to San Jose, and it didn't stop at all the stops. So if it had stopped at all the stops, I probably would have taken the same amount of time. So it certainly could have been worse. So I got home at about the same time I would have got home anyway when I go to the faculty club. It was just an adventure. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.